Before I had the surgery, my eyelids were really heavy and they'd got to the point where they were almost touching my lashes and wearing eye makeup was kind of pointless because you couldn't actually see the makeup. It wasn't a major problem, but I just wanted to look fresher and a little bit more youthful, I suppose. Leonie had an upper lid blepharoplasty, which is otherwise and usually known as a nigh lift. I think it makes your eyes, your, your face, in fact, look fresher and more alert and alive. Uh, the first thing, of course, in an aging face is really uh, changes in the eyelids. So if you can ch you can alter that for the better, it's hugely beneficial. I think Greg was amazing, and the reason that I went to see Greg is because he's been doing this for a very long time, and he's very relatable. I felt like I could tell him exactly what I wanted and that he'd be able to deliver on that. And if he couldn't, he'd tell me as well. So he was very upfront and honest. He talked me through the procedure, what was involved, how long it would take, and how much downtime. The other consideration is you've got eyes which are really quite deep set, so you don't want to overdo this. Yeah, I think that was one of my concerns, that yeah. I would look like I've had something done and I look a yeah. little startled, and I don't want yeah. to look like that. You won't look startled, and you certainly won't have an upper eyelid which has been pulled up. Right. Well, I'm quite a chicken when it comes to pain. I, I didn't want to be in pain, and I was really nervous about that beforehand. I don't know how this happened, but there was no pain. And it was amazingly easy, and I just wish that I hadn't overthought it so much beforehand. The operation takes about an hour and a half to do. It's done usually under local anaesthetic. In fact, in our practice, almost exclusively under local anaesthetic. So people can come in, have it done and go home within about a three hour time frame. And the recovery is usually to go back to work no more than five or six days. Since I've had the surgery, I have had a lot of people saying that I look fresh or that I look relaxed or that I look like I've been on a holiday, which is great. And at the end of the day, that's what I wanted. I didn't want to look different because I wanted to look like me, but just a fresher version. I think that good plastic surgery is defined by being unable to tell that the patient has had an operation. Um, so it looks so natural that it doesn't stand out as an operated face. Okay, can I have a look? Yes. Just shut your eye for me. You see the scar is almost imperceptible. It's actually in the crease running across the, um, the upper lid. You've got a good bit of lid showing now so you can get some makeup on you. Uh, eyebrows are in normal position. Forehead has lost its creasing. So it's really an excellent result, and it doesn't look operated on. It doesn't look as if you've had an operation. It just looks like you're fresher and more alert. I would recommend people having an eye lift. If they've got the same sort of heavy hooded lids that I had, I would absolutely recommend getting something done about it. And I would recommend Greg in a heartbeat. I think he's amazing.